Right, welcome back to Spinning Drip Reviews, and today we're doing an Aegis review on a company called Black Gold E Liquid. Now, you can follow these up for more information at www.bigbottledistro.co.uk. They're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now, the VG PGs on these are 70 VG, 30 PG. They come as nicotine straps of zero because they're a 60ml bottle with 50ml of zero nick E Liquid with a space for a nick shot. Now, the flavours that we're doing are called Alaska, Shanghai, Siberia, Texas, Canada, Dubai. And Moscow. Now what we're going to do is we're going to talk a bit more about the flavour profiles as we go over to the vaping side and we're going to be checking to see if they do what they sound on the tin flavour wise. We're going to show you the logos, the bottles and all that sort of goodness um, and then finally we're going to be having a nice vape up and then checking out the clouds. So don't go nowhere and catch us back in a minute. Right, welcome back to Spitting the Dripper Reviews and like we said on the desktop we're doing this company out in front of us and these are called Black Gold E-Liquid. Um, they're in big bottles but obviously they're 50ml zero nick E-Liquid with the room for a nick shot. Um, looking forward to doing them. I mean, the yeah, flavour profiles. If you want to, in fact, you, before we start, should we read through what we're going to be doing and the full flavour profiles this time? Yeah, sure. And then we'll go back through them. I mean, for do. more information on these, do check out www.bigbottledistro.co.uk. Also, you can find more information on them on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Yep. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, the flavour profiles we're doing Alaska, which is a rhubarb and custard. Sounds nice. Shanghai, which is a raspberry lemonade. Siberia is blueberry and cool mint. Texas is rainbow candy, Canada is fruit salad, mm. Dubai is a sweet strawberry candy, mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and Moscow is fresh English berries and cool mint extracts. Right, now juicing these up, I mean, I did some this way, and then Bigger Cop did some this way, and from the ones I've done, they smell quite nice yeah. considering, so I'm um, really looking forward to going in at the deep end and smell tasting quite some of They do, so, they do um, smell really nice and punchy. Mm. Um, so what we're going to start with is we're going to start with Alaska. Um, and again, that's a rhubarb and custard. So, we'll just shame. yeah, show you the bottle. The big bottles. Obviously, you know, your gorilla bottles, yeah. Mm. I mean, I don't think, I mean, we've got these in zeros, obviously, as you can see by the size of the bottles. But I'm really starting to enjoy a zero same, right now as same. well. I find that sometimes, like nicotines in them, can sort of mask stuff if it's too strong. Or, but I find the zeros give you that full. Mm. You know, all right, fair enough. We can't judge the company's nicotine, right? Because it's got none in. But to me, it's about the flavor of the juice. And, and sometimes, like we said, we don't really have much nicotine yeah. anymore, do you know what I mean? So this type of juice is good for us because you get a bigger bottle, no nicotine in there, you know? And, and mm. at the end of the day, it, it's something different, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? But they really do look punchy. I mean, I like the, I like the city life they've got going on on this. You've got the name of your juice here. You, obviously, this is zero milligram nicotine. And you know, let me just get it the right way for you. There's your black and gold. Mm. Um, that says 5010 edition. It says on there. And as you can see, 7030 VGPG. Mm. Right, right, what are we saying, sir? Little trip down, down the old memory <laughs> lane for them sweets. Nice. That's exactly what it is the rhubarb and custard sweets. Lovely. I mean, if you're expecting like some sort of full-on vanilla custard, it's not happening. But then it never happened with the sweets. As well, such. I think rhubarb's a bit of a, a domineering yeah. sort of flavour, isn't I it? I mean, the rhubarb is proper punchy, and it is just like getting some of them sweets when you was a kid. Nice. There's a custard in there, but as you say, the rhubarb's predominant, mm. and it is just like them sweets. It is. I mean, look at them clouds for 70 30. They're Chuckish. really thick yeah, as well. Man. Not just the size of them, mm. it's the density of them. A real nice cloud. Mm. Not too sweet. No. Really. I was expecting a real strong sugar lip on this, considering from the smell and being that it was a sweet, a fruit mm. salad, uh, a rhubarb custard sweet, sorry. But I'd say around the 45% out of 100 on the sugar lip, which is still nice. I mean, anything between 40 and 60 is yeah. up our road. Um, now, <coughs> it starts. With like um, you know, like you, I'm not going to say synthetic because that's you know in one aspect that's what you're going to get, but it's more of a um, an artificial rhubarb, um, a little bit of a custardy sort of ness going on just afterwards. I would have liked to have seen more custard. Don't get me wrong, but then rhubarb is a stealer, you know. Yeah. It is one that sort of jumps in, steals the whole vape. Um, but you do get that little bit of creamy right now that I'm talking. Yeah. A little bit of creaminess going on, so it's a good one to start with. Um, well, it's definitely up the street of the of the sweets, isn't it? You know, it is. Um, and, than a bowl and to me, I prefer to eat the sweets than vape it. Mm, if that's, yeah. I'm not really a rhubarb and custard vapor. Really, I'm more of a you know, I wouldn't mind eating the sweets, but 
even then I probably only have one or two I was always about the fruit salad yeah, really yeah. do you know what I mean rhubarb custard was alright but it, to me vaping it it's not really my cup of tea mm. but it is a good vape it ain't, yeah. and it's not saying it's amazing because that's just my personal opinion but it, it's nice it is, it is bang on point of rhubarb and custard mm. but I would have liked to seen a bit more custard that's all yeah Right, so let's move yeah, on to the next one. To one. With, it is a good was, one to yeah. start with. Right, next one's called Shanghai, and this is the Raspberry Lemonade. Okay, let's have Let's a little in. taste. Do you want to smell the juice and see what you... Uh... Oh, hello. Mm. Does it taste fizzy? Because it smells fizzy. It tastes like a lovely fizzy lemonade, but raspberry... You get a little little dab of it, but it's more like a berry, if you get what I mean. You get, you you, you start to taste raspberry, but then it goes very berry fired, if that makes sense. Right, I don't yeah. know don't know why. I mean, there might be other stuff in there with the raspberry, but to me, I was looking at just getting that raspberry ripple lemonade feel. Do you get what I mean? And you get that. You get like a fizzy lemonade at start, then it starts to go raspberry, but then goes berry, if that makes any sense. Sugar lip again, around a forty five out of a hundred. I mean, look at them. Where have I gone? Shocking big clouds. Hello. Mm. There. But it, they're nice, you know. It's again, it's not, you know, it's not overly amazing, but it's not horrible. I would vape that one. I mean, out of the two, I prefer the second one to be fair. Yeah, the lemonade's a nice one. And only I mean, you vape a, you know? a lot of lemonades over. We have tried mm. a lot, a lot of lemonades. Yeah, it's I mean, a nice one. I'm just going to smell the rhubarb and custard because obviously we didn't give that a smell. Yeah, again, that smells that is pretty much what it vapes like. Yeah. Very little custard mm. and more about the rhubarb. Yeah, it's got a nice fizz. <clears throat> Not too much of a sugar, sugar lick no. to this one either. No. Because some of them can be quite sweet. And I think that's going to be good for like not quite killing your coils. Yeah. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Right, let's move on to the next one. Yep. And this next one's that's called it. Siberia. And this is a blueberry and cool mint. So, As you can see there, Siberia. That smells nice. Um, it is really cool. Like so, really? Or? No, no, not like it's. I was expecting it to be a lot stronger. It right. is a cool one. And blueberry. I mean, I think the cool in and the, the cool mint does something to the blueberry. So you're not, you know, you're expecting what a blueberry would taste like. Yeah. But with the mint, it makes it different, obviously. Okay. So, but. No, just it does something to the blueberry. I get what you mean. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I quite like a blueberry in a vape, but with mint, mint. it's not mm. down my street no, personally. Same. But you know, it is cool. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended there. Um, to me, I have to agree with bigger cop. The blueberry's amazing, but the mint spoils it for me. Um, it gives it more like um. It, to me, it's like I've just had a load of blueberries after I've brushed my teeth. Yeah, yeah. If that that's makes exactly sense. it. Yeah. Um, sugar lip again, forty two, forty five, and that's still not it's strong. Not, yeah. Um, it's all right. It's not too bad. Um, it, and the smell of it, like I said, it's more of a. It's like a punchy, punchy fruit. Have a smell. You can't predict that as blueberries. Yeah. More like a, a foresty mm. fruity sort of smell. Can't but you I, smell mint in there either. No. Until you vape it. Exactly. And and again it's not not a, a mint that goes <gasps> it's not like that. Mm. It's not like a eucalyptus or a, a menthol or no. a colada. It's a subtle mint. But yeah, I think it just sort of mm. takes the edge off that blueberry for me and I would have liked to have just seen it, you know, mm. with something else rather than a mint. Right, let's move on right, to the next one. Move on one. to the next one. This one's called Texas and this is a rainbow candy. Now this one smelling the bottle earlier I was like, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so, mm, it does smell like a rainbow candy. Saying no names. <laughs> it is like that giraffe. Yeah, I'm not milking him though. <laughs> this one's got a bit more sugar lip to it. Cool. Um, which you would expect from a, a rainbow candy. Yeah. And um, it is. It's like getting an handful of different coloured rainbow candies, and it does smell all in like one that go. Bottle. 
Well, it's nice that there's a bit more sugar lip to this one as well. I'd say up about well, 48, nice. 50, even pushing 50. That's nice. But I think out of the first four that we've done so far, this has to be the favourite for mm. me so far. It is like getting an handful yeah. out of that bucket from under the giraffe. And not just because of the sugar push, because it's punchy. Yeah. It's got mm. the, you know, I mean, I'm going back for a third one, look. <laughs> That's really nice. But yeah. I am getting that, like you said, a handful. You're getting a mixture of lemon, lime, strawberries, all the sorts black, of different. Everything, yeah. All, in one, all in one go. Um, maybe in a little bit of a fizziness going on in there. You know, like yeah. like a sherbet-y sort of, and it's really nice, um, mm. and, and candy-fied. Um, it's really nice. Sugar lip, on, on that, if we're going to call it out, I'd say 50-50 right now. Yeah, we like it. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good sugar lip. Yeah, color. and I'm left with this nice aftertaste of still getting that explosion mm. of fruits, which is great. Yep. <laughs> mm. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the giraffe done you proud there on that one. <laughs> right, moving on to the next one, and this one's called Canada. And this one's a fruit I'm salad. I'm looking forward to this yeah. one. Yeah. Used to love these sweets. Yeah, you was either a fruit salad. 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 <laughs> fruit, fruit salad. Tooth back in, it's either a fruit salad or a blackjack, wasn't it? And yeah. Blackjacks were not for me. I was always a fruit salad kind of guy. I mean, if that's all you could get, then yeah, you'd have a, the odd one or two blackjack, but... Again, I don't like vaping it. I would like to eat the sweet, but I don't really like the vape, do you know what I mean? Well, that does smell. It does the smell The bottle really smells nice. exactly yep. like the sweet. Does it vape like it smells, or...? It's all right. Um, to me, very little sugar lip. I'd say about the 40 bottom end of what would just fit okay. into like, um, but it's weak. If that, I mean, it might have been the first dry wick, but try it yourself and see what you think. I mean, I'm getting through salad, but very weak, very subtle. I would have thought that would have been a lot more punchy. Mm. It's not the wick, it's not fresh because we've juiced up again. Yeah. It is, I mean, the, the, the taste you're getting, it's subtle. It's nice. It's like a watered down. But it so, feels, yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, the the mixture they've put together, the mm. flavour's nice. It could have just been, could yep. have been a bit stronger. Yeah, definitely. For that's, me. that's very weak that one. But you know, you've sadly, got, you've got the flavour right. It's just not enough of it. Exactly. I think with that. Exactly. Which is a shame. And we have to be brutally honest because yeah. at the end of the day, what's the point in telling you they're all amazing when? You know, you're gonna go out and get it and think, hang on a minute, there's nothing I could taste what he was explaining and this one sadly is mm. a watered down fruit salad. Yeah. Um which was a shame because I was looking forward to that. And if you like that subtleness and that's down your road, then you might like a subtle vape like that because some people don't like them too punchy. Yeah. But I like them punchy. Yeah, I like I'm full just of talking from my, exactly, I'm just talking from my personal mm. preference. Right, Dubai next, yes. Right, yes, let's go somewhere warm. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a sweet strawberry candy. And this is called Pink Fuzz. I don't know smell this. Well, that smells nice. It smells like a nice strawberry, borderline strawberry laces or strawberry boiled sweet, if you get me. When you have a smell of that, you'll see what I mean. It's not lacking. Oh, good. Sugar lip? About the 45, it's not as much as I thought there would be. But it candy, isn't, yeah. But it is a nice strawberry candy, though. You're getting that Lovely. strawberry laces effect um, with the candy thrown in, so you're getting that, that sweetiness. But I thought with it being a candy, it might have been a bit sweeter. Still lovely, you know, not taking nothing away from it. Again, I have to agree with you, it's got, you know, a, a little subtle sugar lip to it mm. um, and it's not too amazingly punchy in your face but it's it's nice it's all right the flavors are nice yeah but I just thought it might have been sweeter maybe you know and maybe being sweet would have punched it a bit more because mm. I think it's again not as bad as the fruit salad but it's still very like now I've got no lingering flavors yeah. going on at the end it's just the first instant vape you get that strawberry laces borderline strawberry bold sweet and then it goes really fast Mm. Um, now it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm left Sugar with. lip around sort of 42, 45, I'd mm. say. But yeah. Okay, well, let's move on to the last one, and this is Moscow. 
and this is fresh English berries and cool mint extract. And if you keep hearing us call out numbers like 45s and 50s for the sugar lip, it means out of 100% now, like in between 40 and 60%, that's perfect for us, you know, like 50 is obviously the perfect, you know, level. But anything below 40 would be too less, anything over 60 would be too much. So now you know exactly what we're talking about. Yeah, and this one's obviously Moscow, the shocker. And it's called. Weird. I'm getting a berry, um, but again, the milk, the mint sort of, you know, the extracts of mint is just toothpaste in it up. Right. You know, there is some mints out there that I actually like, um, which is I've found over the over the time of doing reviews that I tend to like, which is the like, you know, the garden leaf mint. Yeah, you see what mm. I mean. Um, I like garden leaf mint when it vapes like that. That's really nice because it's like it's natural, it's real. Yeah. You know, even spearmint sometimes I can get away. But this is more like um, a toothpastey mint mm. with um, a berry, and yeah. that's and that's by um, sugar lip forty forty five around that sort of area. Yeah. Um, it's not amazing. It's got a little bit of a a, a dab of like a blue slushy sort of feel, mm. but it's not if you make if, yeah to give it its due right if there's one good thing i'm going to say about it it's a lot stronger in flavor <laughs> rather than the rainbow candy yeah um you know it's got a lot more flavor mm. than the others it's punchier um but it's not as strong in sugars and it's nowhere near as good as rainbow candy yeah so i think you're going to know what my favorite is straight away the same, the rainbow, rainbow, rainbow candy, candy which you was know, texas stole it for yeah us. definitely but it's been black black gold e-liquid I mean, do check out some if you if you if you're into that. Um, our favourite was Rainbow Candy. Um, don't forget to subscribe to us. Don't forget to tell all your friends about us. Add us up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, as well as YouTube. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're all right. There's some nice ones there. There's some ones that have lacked. There's ones that I mean, none of them are really highly sugared, other than the Rainbow Candy, mm. and that still was only 50. How we like it. There was none that went over that, you know, yeah. and give us a different type of boost. But yeah, catch us back next time on Spitting Dripper Reviews.